Welcome to Getting Negative. I'm your host, Dave Beasel. Today's episode is all about community. When I moved to Asheville a little over two years ago, I left all of the communities that I had been building for the last 11 years. And although I have amazing friends and I stay in contact with them and talk to them regularly, after a couple of years of being here, I really needed to find some friends to actually hang out with in person. And that honestly was really tough to do. In the last couple of months, I've actually made a bunch of photography friends here at the Asheville Dark Room, as well as outside of the Dark Room. And one of those groups of friends, we have a regular meetup the last Sunday of every month, and that's what this episode is all about. In this episode, I decided to shoot some Lomo Metropolis. I exposed it at 200 ISO. In order to get a closer look at all of my friends and their cameras, I actually bought a macro 28 millimeter 2.8 lens. And on top of that, I also purchased a extension tube to take the macro lens and macro on top of the macro. That's the camera that you'll see throughout this whole video. My buddy Ruben has been organizing meetups on the last Sunday of every month. This particular Sunday, the weather was crummy, so he chose the Highland Brewery because it has a big open indoor space with lots of seating. It's a beautiful venue with lots of outdoor inspired interior design. Ruben is better known for his painting, but he's been inspired to go back to his roots and explore film photography lately. That's why he's been setting these up. Since I was shooting at 200 ISO indoors, I brought my own light. It's small, but it's strong. I annoyed some folks that were sitting near us, but they brought their dogs and kids, so as far as I'm concerned, it's a horse apiece. I asked an employee if I could shoot some photos behind the bar, and they were super helpful, even offering to pour a beer for me to shoot the process. Once everyone was settled in, we had multiple conversations going and cameras were being passed around like chicken pox in a kindergarten class. Ruben brought both of his Pentax 110s. The flash on this one is like two thirds the size of the camera body. The Fuji GA645 looks even bigger in comparison. So I'd never actually seen a Nikon F4 in person before. What an absolutely beautiful camera. The moving lines and curves reminded me of a car. I joked that it looked like it was designed by Ferrari. Come to find out, the body of the camera was designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro, an Italian car designer. He did some designs for Ferrari, but I think he's actually a lot more well known for the designs he did for like VW and Alfa Romeo. But seriously, what an absolutely beautiful camera. Nice work, Giorgetto Giugiaro. Someone brought Saul Leiter's book, The Unseen. It was a perfect addition to the rainy weather and the fact that I was a couple of gosses deep. If you ask me, I think getting negative is the shit. Hey, I know that. That's the Triumph of Commerce in New York, which is featured in my New York series. Maybe you should subscribe and watch that one next. Look at this, proof you don't have to be organized to be successful, though I would imagine it does help. 
Thanks for organizing these meetups, Ruben. I really appreciate you introducing me to all of these amazing photographers. I look forward to seeing you folks every single month. Thanks to everybody for the Sunday meetups. They're really fun. And I want you to join this community. Subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me about your communities that you're a part of and your photography friends. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.